everyone welcome back to rosy maths class so today we will discuss question number 5 part 3 class 9 polynomials and previously we did part 2 of question number 5 so same way we are going to do this one this is the given polynomial which is a cubic polynomial because the highest degree is 3 so let p of x equals to x cubed plus 13x squared plus 32x plus 20 this is the constant term so we'll find the factors of 20 so 1 into 20 is 20 2 into 10 is 20 4 into 5 is 20 so we can write plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 plus or minus 4 plus or minus 5 10 20 plus or minus 10 and plus or minus 20 so these are the factors of 20 now by trial method we will see which factor gives us zero so first find out p of 1 we always start with p of 1 replace x by 1 1 cubed plus 13 1 squared plus 32 into 1 plus 20 simplify this 1 plus 13 plus 32 plus 20 and that equals to 66 we're getting 66 not 0 so we will try the next factor which is minus 1 p of minus 1 same way replace x by minus 1 minus 1 cubed plus 13 minus 1 squared plus 32 minus 1 plus 20 minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 plus multiply it twice is 1 so 13 plus 32 into minus 1 is minus 32 plus 20 Minus one plus thirteen is twelve. Minus thirty-two plus twenty. Twelve minus thirty-two is minus twenty. So minus twenty plus twenty equals to zero, which means p of minus one is zero. So x plus one is a factor of p x. And just write here factor theorem. This is by factor theorem i have explained in the previous two problems also that if x of a sorry if p of a is equal to 0 then x minus a is a factor of the given polynomial here a is minus 1 so x minus minus 1 is x plus 1 that's how you got x plus 1 so this is one of the factor of the given polynomial the other factor we are going to find out by long division when we are doing long division this is the dividend and the factor that we got x plus 1 is the divisor x cubed plus 13 x squared plus 32 x plus 20 dividend goes inside divisor outside and same way we are going to do first term of dividend first term of divisor divide x cancels to x squared so first multiply by x squared x into x squared x cubed plus 1 1 into x squared plus x squared we will subtract sign change minus minus cancels out x cubed minus x cubed 13 x squared minus x squared is 12 x squared next term down 32x now 12x squared divided by x is 12x so multiply by 12x so this would be 12x squared plus 1 1 multiplied by 12x is 12x subtract minus plus becomes minus cancels out 32 minus 12 so that's 20x next term down plus 20 20x divided by x is 20, so multiply by 20. 20x, 1 into 20 is same expression, so this becomes zero. So whenever we are dividing by a factor, we always get the remainder as zero. So now we are going to use the formula: dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Remainder is zero, so we can ignore the remainder. So write p of x as x plus 1 and the quotient we got is x squared plus 12x 
plus 20. x squared plus 12x plus 20. This we will further factorize by splitting the middle term. We need two numbers which adds up to 12 and multiplies to 20. Equals to x plus 1. x squared plus 10 plus 2, 12. 10 into 2, 20. So 10x plus 2x, splitting the middle term, plus 20. First two terms, we got x as a common factor. x, what is remaining? x plus 10. x plus 10. Plus 2, x plus 10. Always make sure that this expression would remain the same for both x plus 10, x plus 10. Okay? Whatever expression you get here, the same expression you must get here. So now this equals to x plus 1, x plus 2, x plus 2 and x plus 10. So we are going to write this as So the final step you will just write the polynomial equals to all the factors, the product of the factors x plus 2, x plus 10. So the same steps that we followed in part 1 and part 2 and by using that we got this answer. So next video we are going to do part 4 of question number 5. Thank you.